Hi, welcome back to the I Can't Have Nice Things YouTube channel. The video clip you just watched was on our way back from an extracurricular activity with my daughter, and a terrible noise started in my vehicle. Um, this is my everyday driver beater 2005 Toyota Corolla, and I have no idea what's going on. It sounds like a broken spring, a broken shock. I don't know what's going on. All I know is at 60, 65, the whole back of the car started jumping. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and knock the tires off and uh, see what we can find. All right, uh, this is my 2005 Toyota Corolla. This is what I wanted to show you guys. Just listen to this. I don't know. I haven't, I, I got up underneath there to see what I could see nothing so far so let's get this tire off and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll find out so the wheels off uh, good lesson here is anti-seize I put anti-seize on these I'd say about four years ago and these lug nuts came right off no corrosion at all you you got to put anti-seize on stuff if you, if you want it to come off easily now the first thing i see underneath here is heavy 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 corrosion along here i'm not even a hundred percent sure let's see here the spring broke maybe doesn't seem like it's busted. Let me see here. This thing is definitely, definitely corroded. Um, let's see. I, feel right. I don't see anything right off the bat, except for maybe this. Okay. So we're coming in here to the trunk. I'm gonna try to show you what I'm talking about here. Um, I've never worked on this car before. I've had this car for about oh, seven, eight years, and I've never had to do anything to it. This has been hands down the most reliable car I've ever owned. Toyota Corolla, they got it right. But what I just found is not good. Coming in here where the top of the shock mounts in here, I don't know if you can even see it. The shock is actually broken through the floor the top shock mount and a big part of that noise was that it was actually coming fully through and hitting the trunk area so this shock is completely blown out um hopefully to me it looks like it could just be the top of the shock itself that failed um this this piece up in here to where we will just simply unbolt that well um you know simply unbolt that i have no idea how corroded that is but that's exactly what happened was the rust has destroyed this top cap and the shock is simply blown through into the trunk and it's now making a crazy amount of noise so what i need to do is knock out those bolts in there um, there's two on this side maybe one on the other side here um, yep and then drop that whole thing down and there's one bolt down on the bottom there um, and see what we get out i'm assuming it's going to come out in a couple pieces and uh i'm sure that's not going to be the cheapest thing I've ever had to replace on this car so I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out and then start calling some parts stores and I'll show you what the shock actually looks like and well we might even inspect the other side because there's a good chance that this one's blown out the other side is very close so let me try to get this out let me try to call around for some parts and uh, we'll get going all right it's been a couple of days we went ahead and ordered these already already struts i guess 
These are off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. This set costs around 133 bucks, and it has both the passenger and driver side loaded strut. So we're going to take the tire back off because we stuck it back on um, and let the car back down because we needed the jack for something else. And we're going to go ahead and get into um, removing the strut and installing the new strut. Okay, so the first nut we're going to take off is down here at the bottom of the strut. That is a 19 millimeter. We're going to take our impact and uh, stick it on here and uh, knock this off. Um, I'm just taking that off first to loosen everything up. Then we'll walk up here and uh, start working on these up here. Some of these are pretty corroded, so hopefully I can get a socket on there. We'll see here in a minute. So the other side of this 19 millimeter um, nut here, there was a washer. And this was sandwiching the uh, inside of the bottom of that strut to the uh, control arm there. So um, just so you know, there is a washer behind that nut. In the trunk, the nuts and bolts that hold the top of your strut in, that's a 14 millimeter. And back here, there's another one. Can't have a hard time seeing it, but there is one bolt right back there that is a 14 millimeter. And then, or sorry, nut back there. And then there is a bolt, right, that comes up from the bottom into this nut that is in the body. So you'll have two nuts and one bolt. So you'll have your two 14 millimeter bolts, one on the back side of that little uh, hump there and one on the front side here. And uh, they came right off. Because they're not exposed to the elements, these won't be um, seized on there. Now, the bolt that's coming through the bottom to the top, we're gonna have to come out to the outside and see if we can get a socket on there with the impact. So this bolt right here that, that goes up through into the nut that's actually fastened to the chassis um, is very corroded. I don't know if you can see that too well. It's very corroded. It's part of the damage from all this rust through here that actually broke the shock is also messing this up. So I'm going to take a socket and try to beat it onto that nut from the bottom or that bolt and see if we can stick the impact on there. So there you go. I smashed it on there with the hammer and uh, knocked it right out. Thankfully it wasn't too bad actually. But uh, let's go ahead and see if we can remove this strut now. All the bolts and nuts are off. Wow, look at that. That's uh, the entire top of this uh, strut. It literally broke through and pushed the shock itself right through it. I've been, I've been changing struts and stuff for a long time. That was the worst one I've ever done. This top cap must have gotten around the inside of the up li upper lip there and just wouldn't let it fish it down. I almost, I almost started cutting, I almost got the torch out and cut this. I know that's really dumb, but that's ridiculous. Um, 
I mean, honestly, I didn't think the car was that bad. I didn't think it was that rusty. I'm gonna have to double, double take some of the things underneath this car, but uh, yep, it's out. Wasn't pretty, wasn't easy. Here's your brand new shiny strut, your O-Ready strut. Um, comes all assembled, ready to go. Compared to that one, it's, uh, see where it broke? That was the cap that it rusted all the way around and pushed the shock up through the car. So I basically lost all my shock on this side. Um, like I said, these come in sets and we're gonna do both, but uh, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do this one side. Um, you know, because if I show you one side, you'll know how to do the other side. We'll go ahead and remove this uh, tag here. This is telling you not to take this nut off because there's a lot of uh, spring tension underneath this and that would be really dumb because it would just pop right off. So don't do that. I'm sure somebody's done that before and that's why they had to put that on there. So we'll go ahead and put our 14 millimeter back in here. And then we will use our 19 millimeter to tighten up down here. Good. And back here, those are the new the um, the new fasteners are 14 mil. So we reinstalled our two nuts on either side, our one bolt. And then our one nut down here that was 19 millimeter. So new struts in. Um, it doesn't hurt to add a little bit of uh, anti seize down there on the shaft, not on the uh, threads, but the shaft to take out a squeak if there's going to be a squeak. So um, we're done on one side. We'll put the tire back on and repeat the exact same process on the other side. Now the other side's not broken, so it should go 10 times faster because it won't be punched up in and impossible to get out and we have to cut the spring and all that crap. Oh so. yeah, yeah, let's see if it makes noise. <laughs> nope, no noise. It's fixed. All right, this side's all done. This side was not near as bad. The <laughs> crustiness just wasn't there. Um, popped it off, popped the new one back on. Um, you can just tell by how much crap's on the floor here, how much rust was over here. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe that one was replaced at one time. I'm not the original owner of this car. So, uh, yeah, guys, that was the video for this week because, um, you know, daily driver had to get it fixed. So thanks for joining me and we'll see you next week.